Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah. As many of you know, I am dedicating my wedding to a very fallen police officer, firefighter, and U.S. Border Patrol member who lose your life in a line of duty in 2021. And sadly tonight, I'm running for another fallen fire engineer who have lost his life in a line of duty. Tonight, I'm running for engineer Michael L. Freeland. Here with the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department in Florida, and his uh, and his last alarm was November 11th, 2021, and lost his life after he suffered an unknown uh, medical episode while he was at the scene of a vehicle incident that ultimately resulted in an extraction. He was 36 years old at his passing, serving seven years as a uh, as a part of the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department. Uh, he served the last two as an engineer and the rest as a firefighter. His uncle also served the past 20 years with the same agency and was behind a fiance and other loving family members. Tonight I'm running with the red line flag in this honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track with my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. I'll be joined tonight by two Winter Springs police cruisers joining us in the patrol, the Sanford Police Department. Joining us in the run, as well as my sister, uh, the, an Orange County Sheriff's Office Sergeant, who is a part of the Central Florida First Responders Bagpipes and Drums, who will also be playing to enjoy the run, uh, as well as my whole entire family and other supporters here tonight. Even though it seems like there's just me and two others running in the uh, run tonight, at the same time, there's even more running, and it's all the fall I've ran for. I know they're all running in spirit tonight, including fallen engineer Michael L. Freeland. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department through how to through the hard time that I'm going through, and then I'll be on my way. Those that are tuned in tonight, tonight's Zachary like running his second mile of the evening, this mile in honor of a fallen engineer, fire engineer from right here in our state of Florida, fallen engineer Michael L. Freeland from the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department who tragically lost his life on November the 11th, 2021. And he lost his life after suffering an unknown medical episode while on scene at a vehicle accident that involved a uh, vehicle extraction. He was just 36 years old at the time of his passing, having served as a firefighter for seven years, his last two being in his, as an engineer. His family bled firefighting. His uncle also served with the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue. Second right now putting his first lap to honor this hero tonight. appreciate every agency that comes out and helps honor our fallen heroes alongside Zechariah tonight, helping honor fallen engineer Michael L. Freeland. We have members of our hometown agency, the Winter Springs Police Department, running with Zechariah. We have a member of the Sanford Police Department. And then playing bagpipes tonight, we have a piper from the Central Florida First Responder Pipes and Drums Band, as well as a member of our neighboring agency, the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Again, we're here tonight to pay tribute to a seven-year veteran of the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department, fallen engineer Michael L. Freeland who tragically lost his life on November the 11th due to an unknown medical episode while he was on scene of a vehicle accident that involved a vehicle extraction. 36 years old, again, seven year veteran of this agency. His uncle also previously served with this agency as well. He leaves behind a fiance and other loving family members. Zachary now completing his second lap to honor this hero tonight. Zachary completes, he carries a unique flag. Each flag gets sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor tonight. Zachary carrying the red line flag. This flag will work its way to the family of engineer Michael L. Freeland, along with the note that Zachary wrote earlier in the evening. If you like information on how you can also be a part of this mission, visit running the number four heroes.org. 
Starting on this next lap, I'm gonna go silent. I'm gonna remain silent for the duration of the run as we reflect on the life of this hero, fallen seven year veteran of the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department, fallen engineer, Michael L. Freeland. We extend our thoughts and prayers to his family, his fiance and everybody mourning the loss of this hero. And we are sadly once again, lifting up the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department in prayer as well, as that cry runs to honor another one of their heroes. We hope this run honors Mr. Freeland well. We thank him for his service. May God bless his family.
Zach Ryan, any final words tonight for the family of fallen fire engineer, Michael L. Freeland. To the whole family of fallen engineer, Michael L. Freeland, everybody with the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department in Florida who are going through a hard time, as well as his fiance and his other loving family members. We hope you all heal very soon to the passing of your loved one. This engineer, Engineer Freeland, was only 36 years old, served a total of seven years, five as a firefighter, his last year as an engineer, and he had lots of firefighting in his family. His uncle served a past 20 years with this agency as well, and he was really just leading on the the uh, the dedication for um, just for his family as a firefighter. And uh, the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department, and really the whole entire area of Jacksonville, has has had a the least I can say it, a really rough year. Um, I know that we've run several miles here at this track. I also know we've run one mile up at the actual fire department as well. Um, and just this year alone for fallen firefighters and fallen fire engineers and their department. And sadly, it seems like the second they start to find a little bit of healing and comfort, they lose another one. So our prayers are definitely going to continue to stay with you and your whole department, his family as well. And if you're a firefighter from this agency watching, do not feel discouraged. And whenever you go out to another call, dedicate the rest of your calls to do exactly what engineer Michael Freeland and the rest of the first responders we've lost this year from your agency would do if they were going to this call. Um, I know with God and with all, I, I believe um, that you will find comfort soon. And I hope this is the last one you have to deal with this year. Um, so we just can hope as much comfort as possible for your family. Uh, if you are part of Fire Engineer Michael Freeland's family as well, we'll be sending you the Sherman flag that we're going to your hero's honor very soon. As those handwritten notes I've already written and it's ready to be sent down your hero's name. Uh, there is absolutely no preference on what we want you to do with the flag or the note, but whatever you do with it, we hope you find comfort every single time you look at it, like they're fallen hero, Engineer Michael Freeland. Um, We'll never be forgotten down here uh, in this great city of Florida and throughout the whole entire nation. Now, if all of you tonight would first and first of all like to join me in a 21 second moment of silence, just like the 21 gun salute, each second day, kidding, one amazing thing fire engineer Michael Freeland during his life, including as a fire engineer, a firefighter, maybe also a life he saved or an accomplishment he made during his life. If all of you please join us in this 21 second moment of silence to help the family and department heal, please bow your heads right now. We appreciate if you join us at 21 seconds. It does mean a lot to the whole family to bow our heads and join us. Now, if one more time tonight, bog to bow our heads this time in a prayer for the fallen fire engineer and the fallen officer we had to run for on this Monday evening. Dear God, tonight we've had to come out here to run for two fallen first responders, one fire engineer and one officer who have lost their life in a line of duty. Both of these were unexpected losses, and at least from the Ronnie Peters family, these were both significant losses. Uh, one from a community that um, hasn't lost an officer in a long time, and one from a community that have lost several officers, uh, sorry, several firefighters um, in this year alone. Um, and both of these departments um, definitely did not need this to happen, and sadly, um, it has happened. God, first and foremost, guide anybody going through a hard time to this run. Please use this run as a tool to help anybody going through a hard time heal. Uh, guide the departments and families to this run so they can know that Running for Heroes can help them out through a difficult time. And God, watch over these departments. Let's hope we don't, that we don't lose any more in these agencies and these surrounding agencies for as long as possible. Um, and God, just uh, keep a watch over this department and this family because uh, they definitely need it through an unexpected loss. Thank you again, God, for keeping me safe through another two miles that we had to do tonight. And even though we do have several more to do, uh, God, keep all of our first responders safe tonight as they go into the um, night shift across the United States here tonight. Thank you again, God. And just say we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining us in these two runs here tonight. Tomorrow, we unfortunately have two runs to do, and I believe at least one on Wednesday. Um, let's hope that we don't have to do any more uh, leading up to these days. Um, I know that we had uh, quite a bit of a more 
a harder weekend than usual with losing first responders knowing that we were not here as well. Um, so please watch over the communities that we're going to be running for tomorrow and stay tuned for the posts so you can come and support those agencies and families tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great and safe your Monday evening, especially if you're a first bar working tonight. And I pray God blesses you all.